So it's really lovely to see you guys. And I was just wondering, Nick Hornby, he said that like um, the book, there's so many quotes he would love to quote and he oh, loves all of them. So what were your favorite bits? Oh God, oh, there's God. too many to mention. Um, lots of things that happen in the book are incredibly funny and, and we've sort of, um, we've taken snippets of that and embellished on that and, and made them, try to make them funnier, I guess. And there's, there's a lot of moments in the book that we, we've sort of, we've, we've We've done. Well, that's added. hard to say. Well, yeah, yeah, there's a lovely moments like uh, George kicking the fridge, and, and I would yeah. say it's a little tip: watch out for the PSs, the postscripts, because there was a lot of yes. lovely things in the book that we couldn't get into the episode. So, post credits, there's a lovely little PS which gives you another little nugget from the book, which is exciting. Very funny. And then I was also wondering about, you know, when you move to London for the first time, you know, and everything is like so busy and it's such a big city. So, yeah. like, what do you think about that? Like, do you have memories as well? And could you, like, relate to that? I, I can, because I'm from the north of England. So um, I moved to London three and a half years ago. And when I first moved there, the pace and the amount of people, the sheer kind of capacity and volume of everybody in all the different cultures was overwhelming but amazing. And um, it's a beautiful city to live in. And I definitely relate to the kind of culture shock that Nina had when she first arrived, yeah. yeah. And then I was also thinking, because you had been in Pride as well, and yeah. that's also set in the 80s, so this is kind of like set in the 80s as well, yeah. so what was the most fun about like doing that? Um, it's a very different feel to, to Pride, it's um, a very you different... Didn't do, I didn't make you shave your hair? No, no shaved heads, no, no shaved, shaved heads, heads in this one, and the costumes are very, very different. There's and no shoulder pads. No if you're, you're going to watch it hoping for shoulder pads and neon... You ain't going to get them. There are none, I, I'm no. sorry to tell you, but it's a, it's a lovely look at the London in 1983, but it knocks back to really the late 70s, yeah. doesn't it? And it's really, yeah. what we try to do is evoke the spirit of the book, so it's quite a magical take on it in a way, it's sort of finding yeah. the magic in the ordinary, so so hopefully that's what you'll see in the look of the 80s as well. And then I was also wondering, because I feel like the quality of TV series has risen so much over the last couple of years and yeah. it's become so much more popular. So how was it doing like a TV show? You know, you've also done different ones before, like The White Queen or Game of Thrones. Yeah. So how, how was it like doing this? And it's kind of like a mini series, isn't it? So how was it doing that? I mean, it's wonderful. And, and what was even more wonderful is that SJ directed the whole series. It, sometimes what happens is you get a number of directors on one show. Esha luckily stayed with us and, and took on the full job and, and we did it together as a team and it was a, a wonderful experience. It felt more like doing a film in, in sort of five small episodes, you know. Yeah, so, we, we yeah. shot it like a film really yeah. because uh, it was, you know, we, we shot in blocks about where we were going so, so it was literally shot, scheduled as if it was a movie, which is great and obviously it was great to reunite with Helena and have her back in the film. She's sorry she couldn't be here but she, uh, she she's a fantastic character in it isn't she George in it and it's yeah. a really exciting piece so it was really exciting to sort of create this family both on screen and off and it really was like a, a movie making a movie which is great fun and I think TV I think the lines between television and film are blurring so much now and I think mm. you know there's lots of transitions you know you've got Martin Scorsese now doing TV and as well as films and I think it's the genres are crossing over which is incredibly exciting for filmmakers Absolutely. as a whole because filmmaking is filmmaking whatever medium it's on. Do you feel like you can go more in depth with TV shows though because it's like more episodes? Well yeah sure in a way I mean that is always what's said although obviously on a film you can concentrate on spending more time with the character depending on which angle of the story you take but ultimately yeah in TV it's it's fantastic to be able to you know uncover and interrogate a character a little bit more and we certainly felt we had opportunity to do that absolutely with Nina and, yeah you know discovering the character and then seeing how she sort of came to life was incredibly exciting and obviously really satisfying to do over over five parts yeah. And then just really quickly, because like a lot of our views are really big Game of Thrones fans. Uh, so, um, do you like get, do you get that a lot? That like a lot of people talk to you about Game of Thrones now. Uh, and like, are you looking forward to like the release of the next show? Uh, yeah, it's happening more and more. Um, and obviously, in, I'm in the next season, so we'll, we'll see what comes of that. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's cool. It's a privilege to be in that show. So yeah. Cool. Thank cool. you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You.